I was born in Samoa. My parents went to New Zealand for a better life and for opportunities for us kids. Yeah, we grew up together in New Zealand and played a lot of rugby in New Zealand. We've played backyard rugby since we were young. Uh, you know, it was always me and George versus our older brother Tisi at the time, and um, he would always bully us. And yeah, we always start crying. So. <laughs> but it's always been in the blood, and um, we've just been growing up playing rugby, and we've just enjoyed it, and it's become our life. I think our parents were the biggest. Our biggest supporters, as you can say, we weren't, we weren't the best at school. We were kind of the guys that went to school to eat our lunch and he things. Was, he I was. was. <laughs> he, he kind of did well, but um, you know, my dad kind of said, you know, this could be an opportunity for you and as a career. The Viva Premiership is one of the toughest competitions out there, and we saw it as an opportunity, something different from back home. We came over here as a tour when we were still at school. We saw it as one of those countries that's so far away and and cold as usual. All we knew of England was the Queen. We haven't met the Queen, eh? But no. um, maybe, maybe Kate and Prince, Prince William, one day, eh? Maybe one day. Maybe winning the players, players of the season is, um, was an was an honour for me. And oh, winning those awards, were, mm. you know, I felt, <laughs> you know, I felt very humbled. It gave me opportunities to feed this little guy here, <laughs> you know, to bring him over here. So if I didn't play as well, you know, wouldn't have probably wouldn't have given him the opportunity to come over here and. Uh, maybe he can do a lot better than me this season. Moving here was through George. Um, you know, he uh, recommended me to uh, the coaches. And I kind of said, oh, I've got a little brother in New Zealand, and if you wanted to have a look at him. I was really uh, keen at that time. Um, my rugby in New Zealand was uh, on a standstill, and uh, I thought, oh, you know, maybe this is a good um, time to make the move. They said if there's anything like me, you know, it would be, be good for the team. And I said, oh, well, He's better than me, hopefully, <laughs> and um, while well, that's what I expect, you know, for an older brother, you know, expect your younger brother to be a lot better than you. No, it's been fun. Um, I, haven't been, I haven't seen him in a while. Um, he's been here for a year and a half, and living with him again was, um, was good. An experience. <laughs> an experience for me and my wife. You know, it's been, it's been good to have some family here, um, you know, being so far away from home. I mean, Kenny is just like our adopted son has just come over, so, you know, it's, it's good. Someone else to talk to, and someone else for, um, for my wife to get a sore head with. <laughs> it's just like how we used to play in the back, backyard back in the days, and we kind of feed off each other, like to play um, what we see. Growing up in New Zealand and in Samoa, um, rugby and, and touch rugby is, is second nature to us, really, and it's a bit different coming over here. It's, it's pretty tight, you know, it's all forward oriented uh, game, so. Yeah, we've, um, Learned how to kick over here. <laughs> Back home, we hardly kick, so yeah, <laughs> just not, run. Yeah, they tell us not to kick the ball, you know, you rather run the ball than kick it, so you know, yeah. it's good learning curve for us. And um, we, I think we just bring some different, different style of rugby in mm. terms of uh, a little bit of X Factor here and there. Yeah.